Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth today. We're doing a video, uh, the what's next on Radzab Butayev, the undefeated and newly crowned WBA regular champion at 147 pounds welterweight. Uh, he defeated Jamal James, in, veteran Jamal James, in an upset. It really was. I didn't think Butayev had been in the ring with anybody near as good as Jamal James, so I thought he was just going to be outclassed in this one. And, um, you know, he surprisingly forced James to fight his fight, which is kind of a slugfest. He forced him into that kind of fight, which is, I, I was very surprised by. And, um, you know, he just kind of bullied him. He's a, he was a, he's a southpaw that brawls. It kind of comes in and brawls. So he kind of was doing that, uh, coming in from the side with that hook to the body and then landing his straight left hand. And uh, Jamal James, you know, I think it was a bad, bad idea to try to fight. Um... Uh, Butayev's type fight because Butayev just took advantage of him. He was trying. Jamal James was having his moments here and there, but he wasn't winning. Uh, he wasn't ahead in the, the cards. He wasn't winning most of the rounds. And going into that ninth round, he was behind, and then he just got overwhelmed and stopped. And uh, Radza Butayev, I mean, he got my hats off to him. That was a huge win at a big moment, you know. And now Butayev's a WBA regular champion. It was a four-man box-off, so the winner is technically supposed to fight the winner of Jordanus Ugas, the super champ, and Stan Ionis, who that fight is still yet to be made. It might not happen at all, but the winner is fighting for the WBA title next. That much we do know. No ifs, ands, or buts, and Butayev was the winner. So Butayev actually, in all honesty, might get, um, might, might become, get, be upgraded to the, the official champion uh, sooner rather than later. Also, because we do know who Goss is looking into possibly facing Errol Spence Jr. Uh, in a unification belt, even though his belt might not be on the line. It might just be for Errol Spence's unified belt. So we got to wait and see on that. But let's look at what's next for the undefeated and newly crowned WBA regular champion, Ratsab Butayev. We're going to run through the top 10. We start with the undefeated unified WBC IBF champion Errol Spence Jr. Well, Errol Spence wants to unify belts and he might not be able to do that because Ugas um, he wants to unify belts with your Dennis Ugas, but Ugas has been ordered to compete in this tournament and fight Stan Yonis next. So um, we're waiting around to see what's going to be the case there, but Errol Spence is not going to be an option for Butayev next. The, the WBA is going to mandate somebody other than Errol Spence to fight Butayev, you know, and it's just not going to be him next, but maybe down the road. Number two, the undefeated WBO champion, Terrence Crawford. No, I don't see this one either. Butayev has earned his spot with the win over uh, over Jamal James. I think he's going to wait around for uh, possibly um, either your Dennis, your Dennis Ugas or Stan Ionis, or if Jerron Ennis puts himself in the mix. Um, I think if Crawford coming off of a, if he beats Sean Porter, I'm not sure he's going to be interested in Butayev, even if he has a world title, but maybe he would, but you have to uh, see Butayev, it has to be PBC at top rank, and that's a hard, hard uh, matchup, you know, to make with the two promotions right there, if uh, Crawford's even staying with them, because his contract's technically ending, he might sign with them, so that might, get, might make it even more possible, so now that I'm thinking about it again, yeah, we could be seeing, we definitely could be seeing um, Crawford and Butayev if Butayev would have to wait around for Ugas and Errol Spence or the winner of uh, Ennis and Stan Ionis. If Butayev's got to wait around and he wants to stay active in the first half of the next of next year, the WBA could swing in and say, hey, we're going to allow you to do this while you wait for your number one contender, you know, and that might be the key to seeing um to seeing that fight so uh which could lead us to an undisputed title fight at some point which is what everybody wants so gotta wait and see but i definitely think that fight is possible um possible but not likely but possible with crawford number three sean porter sean porter upsets terrence crawford and there's no rematch clause in the contract and again that situation if butayev has to wait because um wait for uh, an opponent then I absolutely believe that Porter could be next to unified belts, but we just don't know if uh, if that's going to happen. And I'm going to lean towards the less likely right now, but it is PBC working with PBC, so it definitely could happen. Um, number four after, uh, after Sean Porter 
is your Dennis Ugas, the WBA super champion. Now, this could still happen. Ugas does not want to give up the belt that he uh, worked hard to get and then defeated Manny Pacquiao to leave no doubt that he was the official champion. He doesn't want to lose that belt, he, but he wants to unify against Errol Spence. He's coming off of a monster win, and Errol Spence is the top guy and holds the other two belts, so he wants to unify belts. But the WBA is is pretty solid that they want to uh, sure up all their divisions and make one champion, and they ordered a four-man box off, and um, Butaya won his part, and, and Ugas is supposed to fight Stan Ionis. So um, we're going to wait and see if somebody blinks, but as of right now, I, I, I think it could be possible that Butaya fights Ugas next, but Ugas, Ugas has to get that fight made with Stan Ionis, and we just don't know if and when that's going to happen. Um... Okay, so number five is Jerron Ennis. Uh, that could be Butayev's next opponent because Ennis is sitting there, uh, top contender in the WBA, and if Ugas gives up his belt to go fight um, Errol Spence and they throw Ennis into the mix, Ennis might get to fight uh, might get to fight Stanionis instead of Ugas, and then the winner of that fights Butayev for the WBA, the official WBA crown. So. Um, yeah, that definitely could be uh, Butaya's next opponent right there is Ennis. Next is Danny Garcia, the former uh, two-division world champ. Danny is moving up to 154, so I don't see this one being possible. I I'm just waiting for him to officially make the move, and then I'm going to rank him at 154. Um, what I say? He was number six-ish in that area. Next, undefeated Virgil Ortiz Jr., not seeing it. PBC working with, uh, you know golden boy um not seeing that one happening next or being an option i'd like to see it but i don't think it's going to happen and then after um that is i, I believe it was Josecito lopez um is the next guy because butayev's like number seven so yeah Josecito lopez is sitting there at number nine and um you know that could be a possibility if butayev just wants to stay busy and make a title defense prior to uh, having to fight like the winner of Ennis and Stanionis if that fight can be made. Um, but I'm leaning towards the less likely, but you never know because Lopez is with the PBC, so it might be an easy fight to make to get Butayev uh, to shake off some rust prior to, to, to fighting a mandatory fight. And then finally at number 10 is a rematch with Jamal James. It's not in a contract, doesn't need to happen. Jamal James is taking a step back now following the loss, so I really don't believe this one's possible. So not seeing that so that's pretty much it that's the that's the what's next on uh Radzab Butayev I really believe that it it could be your Dennis Ugas or Stan Ionis, the winner of that which has been ordered it could end up being the winner of Jerron Ennis and Stan Ionis because Ugas might give up his belt to move on and fight um to move on and fight uh Errol Spence to, for the unified belt uh it could be Josecito Lopez and it could be an outside shot at Terrence Bud Crawford but Radza Butayev, big ups, big win over Jamal James. And what we do know is next, he will be fighting for the WBA world title, the official world title. And he might get upgraded to full champion before that. But we'll see what happens. But he's definitely a top 10 guy now. I got him at number seven. And he's, he's number seven with a bullet. And he's going to be fighting top competition to, to prove how good he really is. And we're going to find out, hopefully, in his next fight, how good he really is when he faces a top five contender, hopefully. So that's it. That's what's next. I hope you enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.